The worst problem with the uh, Harbor Freight utility trailer. Well, there's two or three little things. Actually, this trailer is about 10 years old. So, uh, the worst problem I had to, to start with was just putting the thing together. It was in a lot of pieces and a lot of bolts. The frame is joined uh, right here in the middle, and it's got a, a pivot so that you can actually uh, make a fold-up trailer out of it, but I never did that. I put deck boards on it, the five-quarter uh, one-by-sixes, and I put a piece of uh, angle across the front to hold those down, make sure they didn't go anywhere. This little angle and I run these screws all the way in. And uh, same thing on the back, this piece of angle. That was a good move. Those are long uh, screws that go all the way into the frame. So that protects the edge and front and back. It's time to replace those boards now or just flip them over and paint them. Uh, actually with the paint job, this little trailer will be in very, very good condition. The shackles haven't rusted too bad over 10 years. I could brush them up and, and uh, clean them. And I think I will do that one day and I'll go back with the red frame and the uh, and the black uh, fenders. Now here's the problem I'm having right now. This is the original two-ply tires on there. And those just never have been any good, but they're two-ply and it was a cheap trailer. I think it was less than 300 bucks when I bought the thing 10 years ago. So uh, what can I complain about? So I put a tube in that two-ply and uh, it lasted a little while, but you can see that the tread on it has uh, worn down and they were constantly going flat. So I uh, ordered a six ply and put a six ply on this side just this year. And man, that has been a, a good thing. I went back to uh, tubeless, so I put a new valve stem in it and I cleaned up the a uh, little bit of corrosion on the rims. Uh, and I put the six ply on there and haven't had any trouble with that side. So now I've got the six ply for this side. About 20 bucks on, uh, found them on eBay for about 20 bucks for a six ply rating. This is called a D Stone, D E E S T O N E uh, tire. This is a 480 8. The one thing I wish I'd have done is get the 12 inch tires. They had a model, I think, with 12 inch wheels would have been a little bit better. But this has been just as handy a little trailer. I'll hook it up instead of throwing things in the back of my Suburban and uh, just pull it around. And I've got uh, some little side rails I made. Let's see if I got them over here. Uh, yeah, those little side rails there. And I'll stick them in. I need to repaint those. Uh, so I stick those in when I'm hauling trash or something. So overall it's been a great little trailer. Right now what I'm doing is uh, got this wheel off and I'm going to take that two ply with the tube out of it and then just put the six ply on there. So oh, the reason I have this off the uh, hitch that was I had to leave this thing when it uh, when the tire went flat. I had to leave it in a parking lot so I just took this this part home with me I had some wrenches so I unbolted the, the bolts from the uh, front there and brought it home I figured with a flat tire and no hitch on it somebody wasn't going to go through all the trouble of uh, trying to uh, haul it off and I only left it there for an hour or two so I uh, just want to give you that little review uh, you probably see this trailer in some of my videos here and there where I'm doing some work around or hauling a lawnmower. I haul my zero turn uh, lawnmower around and I cut grasses at some of the different properties that I have to take care of. So uh, it's just been a real handy little trailer. Yeah, I'd buy one all over again. And, uh, you know, if I get to doing some uh, maintenance on it, I should repack the uh, grease in the wheel bearings. Then I'll have good tires and maybe I'll get a good paint job on it. 
get me a couple new side rails, doll them up. This baby will look look nice again. Okay, YouTube, just thought I'd uh, somebody had four or five hundred dollars. I think they've gone up in price now, uh, and just wanted to buy a lightweight trailer that'll haul, I think, up to. Uh, 800, 1,000 pounds, riding lawnmower and different things. Uh, I, I don't say, uh, I wouldn't have any complaints. Uh, I couldn't recommend anything uh, against this little trailer. It does have a pivot right here, for the, so you can uh, actually pivot this thing down and make a tilt trailer out of it too. And that's pretty handy. There's a little pin to pull out to tilt it. Now these little, uh, racks that I got from loading ramps that I got from uh, Harbor Freight also. Oh man, I wish I would bought those uh, way before I did because I uh, went through a lot of 2 by 10s that would get rotten and break and all that stuff and these things have held up like champs. So the little trailer and the uh, steel loading ramps, galvanized loading ramps from Harbor Freight I can't complain about this. So if all the things I bought worked out this well, I'd be really, really, really happy. Okay, you YouTubers, hit subscribe if you will. And I uh, hope this video was a little bit helpful. And uh, uh, thanks for, uh, for uh, tuning in, watching some of my videos. Have a great day.